She belonged to Britain, but America is mourning too. Queen Elizabeth's remarkable reign spanned nearly one third the life of this nation. This just seemed like such a significant moment, the, the passing of this woman who's been kind of the stalwart figure in the back of our minds for the past 70 years. President Biden saying she was more than a monarch. She defined an era and paying his respects at the British Embassy in Washington. The tributes also pouring in from presidents past, including Donald Trump saying, what a grand and beautiful lady she was. There was nobody like her. Former President Obama, we were struck by her warmth, the way she put people at ease. And former President George W. Bush, she set the standard for steady and dedicated service. Personal remembrances born out of relationships forged over the years, meeting every U.S. president except Lyndon Johnson, dating back to Harry Truman, whom she visited as a 25-year-old princess, then representing her father, the king, only to return to the White House as a queen in 1957. I also want to say how much I appreciate the warmth and friendliness of your reception. Visits punctuated by pomp and pageantry, and she appeared to enjoy America's pastimes, watching a baseball game with the first President Bush and turning the Kentucky Derby into a royal affair during the second Bush presidency, often at the center of powerful moments. That famous dance with President Ford at the White House becoming the first British monarch to address Congress, sharing her love of horses with President Reagan and showing her support after 9-11, ordering the British troops to play America's national anthem. And while her last trip to the U.S. was in 2007, every president since has visited the palace. Two countries now bonded in grief for a monarch, a matriarch, Her Majesty. Now, for his part, President Biden had met the queen twice, once as a senator and once last year as president, when he said her grace reminded him of his mother. And as Savannah said, we do expect the president to attend her funeral. Hoda. All right, Kristen Wilker for us there at the White House. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.